Chapter 1. The Sun Makes Life on the Earth Possible. General Knowledge 3. Class 3. Sun and Life. The sun gives out light and heat all the time. This light and heat is called solar energy. Since the sun is very far away from the earth, only a little part of this energy reaches our earth. The solar energy that we get from the sun is very important. It is because of this solar energy that life is present on the earth. It provides the light and heat required for all living things. Light energy to live, grow and reproduce. It helps plants to grow, provide animals and us, human beings, with food to eat. Activity. Do the plants need light to grow? Material required, two small potted plants. Procedure 1. What is the height of the plants? What is the color and shape of the leaves? What do you think will happen to the plants if you place plant 1 in sunlight and plant 2 in the dark? I predict that plant 1 in the sunlight will grow. I predict that plant 2 in the dark will not grow. Activity 2. Put plant 1 in the sunlight, and put plant 2 in a dark place. Give the same amount of water to both of the plants daily. What changes did you observe in the plants? Record the new observations below after every two days. Activity 3. Draw and color the pictures of how both plants look after a week. Well after these activities, think and reply was your prediction correct? Now that you have practically demonstrated it, now look at the figure above, it shows how the solar energy is used by the plant to make its food, and to grow. Animals eat plants as food. Human beings eat plants and animals for food. Sun and water cycle. Solar energy is also important because it provides us with fresh water through the water cycle. Look at the video and watch the process to learn how this happens. Let us understand the system of water cycle, step by step. 1. The sun heats the water in the ocean. 2. The water on heating turns to water vapor and rises in the air. 3. The water vapor cools and becomes droplets of water, which form clouds. 4. When the clouds become heavy with water, the water falls to the ground as rain and snow. 5. Some rain is stored in lakes and in the ground. The rest flows through rivers back into the ocean.